Okay, so the other type of symmetry, you've got line symmetry, and that's your folding over lines, right? Um, but the other one that you could be talking about is rotational symmetry. And on those, you're going to rotate. And if you think about what it means to rotate, it's when you turn a figure. And it lines up on itself. It's said to have rotational symmetry. I don't really like that definition. I'll talk more about it, though. Um, so, for example, let's go back to the star. Um, again, tracing paper is a really great way to help your brain kind of be trained here. You um, make a decision first of what you think it's going to be, and then use the, tra the tracing paper to watch it actually rotate. Alright, so I traced all three of these already. Again, the better I trace it, the better this works. So, again, when you rotate, you're turning, you're turning around a point, right? And if there's a point of symmetry, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So most people can say, oh yeah, this is going to turn, um, yep, yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be able to line that up, right? Okay, so once you start turning though, how do you know how far you've turned? So one technique I would use if you're doing the tracing paper is use um, an arrow pointing straight up. That's the way I usually do it. And then I start turning it. I hold it on a point. Again, when I turn, I'm turning it about a point. So here I go. I count how many times it's going to land on itself. If I've landed on the picture and I haven't gone a full rotation, then the answer is going to be yes. This is going to have rotation, rotational symmetry. Sometimes you're asked about a degree of rotation. So let's see. Let's start back over. How many times can I rotate this and it lands on itself to get all the way 360 degrees around? Okay, so one, two, three four, and five, and I'm back to the top. Okay, so again, this is going to be a yes. This has rotational symmetry. And I turned it one, two, three, four, five times to get back to the top. That's 360 degrees, so if I divide that by five equal turns, it's going to be 72 degrees of rotation. So every 72 degrees, this lands on itself. <clears throat> so think about the heart. I'm going to do my arrow pointing up. I'm going to rotate it. curvy parts down. Okay, I can get it back right there, right? All right, everything's going to land on itself 360 degrees. So that's why I want to use that arrow. Now that I see it pointing back up, I know that I've gone 360 degrees. So this actually is a no. It has to land on itself, and this is the part of the definition that I don't really like because everything when it goes 360 degrees, when you can turn a figure... Um, less than 360 degrees and it lines up with itself then it has rotational symmetry this I had to go when I started with the arrow up the only time it landed on itself was when I went all the way back around at 360 so that's a no alright think about the flag <coughs> People commonly say no on this one, so I'm going to show you that actually, just like a rectangle, it is a yes. Upside down, it lands on itself. Okay, I have not gone 360 degrees. Those curves, they flip-flop. Okay, they're going to be 180 degrees on the other side. So, back to the top, that's two full rotations. So, if I started with the arrow pointing up, it's going to land on itself when it's upside down, which means that yes, I haven't quite gone 360 degrees, and then again back at the top. So my degree of rotation, 360 degrees, it took two equal turns. So that's 180 degrees. Okay.